Got a new car. <sighs> so, it's been a while since I've recorded one of these videos. Because, yeah, I've been busy, so... I'm really busy. Like, I haven't really even been gaming for, like... few months now. But it's pretty good to just get on this game and just like grind out enough money to get what a car like this. It was pretty good fun. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's the game really like they managed to make you feel like you can just drive muscle cars on the low end cars in the game and keep modifying them up. But you can tell by the way that things handle that they really want you to sit and buy these cars. But because it's EA, it also feels like it was designed so that it was like pay to win. Like, I'm not like rose tinting this game at all. Like, I am literally, this video series is me creating content for myself. Like... <laughs> There is nothing in this fucking game that isn't just doing the same thing over and over again and me just going, you know what, I'm just gonna do the few things it has left for me to do even though some of them are a real fucking grind because why not? Luckily some of the cars are fun to drive. Oh, I'm wrecking. So this has like pretty much everything like that I can get at the moment maxed out. We're gonna try and go for another ultimate part. This game, man, you'd think it would mix up how it drops the ultimate parts, but it's just the same every time. Grind heat, beat a race, drive part back. Oh look! It's another turbocharger that's ineffective because we balanced the turbochargers badly. So it's basically everyone uses the same one. <laughs> like, but there's six options. Oh, yeah. But yeah, this, this car is much more accurate in the turns. Uh, I always like the F40. I always thought it was a cool car. It, it is more accurate in the turns, it's more responsive in acceleration, and if you make a mistake, it punishes you, but it does not punish you like being crashing in a muscle car in this game. Crashing in a muscle car or any of the cars that are like easy to get. The game punishes you so hard, even if you have a high performance rating, where it brings you to a dead stop and basically prevents you from accelerating for a short period of time, it feels. And then it, all of the AI just rubber bands past you and you're like, oh. I'm sure they would if they could catch up with me in this, but like, the game really wants you to. Like I said, EA man. We're not going to make it so that you can feasibly, like, get a good car with less than a hundred hours of grinding. Fuck you. <laughs> or buy it with real money. We reward whales in this economy. <laughs> no, it seriously is. Like, this, this car cost me, uh, like, I've got to say, it's like, must have been more than 500,000 credits in this game which is a lot of grinding the day events. And then you gotta think, I've gotta spend that that price basically again to get any parts I don't have in my inventory to make it actually usable at the level I'm using it now. So you feel like that is a lot of time. That, you know, I feel like the old games would have had stuff for me to do that's not just the same five events over and over and over again. And I feel like it thinks that I will be playing this online all the time with my crew, except I don't have PS Plus or even functional Wi-Fi here that will let me connect my PS4. And um, 
I'm pretty sure this game servers for like a pretty much like ghost towns already. It came out in 2019 and it's like completely because they just treated the fan base like shit because it's EA. <laughs> so yeah. Good things about this game though. Car drive feel good. Okay range of car. I don't mind it. It lets me kind of relive some of the better parts of Carbon and Most Wanted, but kind of like not at the same time because it's just like, you just gotta add some more things, man. Like, why can't I have set pieces where I wreck their cars? Why do they never set up spike strips or, ro or like roadblocks properly anymore? Why is the AI janky as shit? So you know, like, there, there are redeeming points, and yeah, I feel like this game is designed for you to just be playing it online past a certain point, like they thought, here's the story mode, uh, seriously play this shit online, because there's nothing else, play with Yo Crew, there are straight up unlocks you can't get if you don't play online, and it feels like to get easier to muck Easy, easier to get money and like have more variety is basically interact with people online but you know that means that it's just gonna die after like a couple of months of the game coming out when everyone's sick of EA's shitty fucking DLC practices cause yeah. right what heat level 2 gonna have to do one more I think or just something This one? Ah, oh, fine. It's just the nearest. Now, I haven't really done any Heat Race level 5s and actually won them yet, because as far as I'm aware right now, at the level I'm doing it, there is absolutely no benefit in me making my life harder for myself by having a full-on 5-star cop chase with helicopters chasing me the whole time to do exactly the same race that I would be doing at heat level 3 uh, and getting the same rewards but slightly more bank and reputation because you noticed I have level 50 rep, it doesn't matter. I can pretty much buy any car in the game by grinding in the daytime anyway so it doesn't really matter. And I do enjoy this game enough that I will just cruise around with the cars that I have sometimes for funsies. I don't have my own car right now, I'm just like, um, I do a few races for the lols, but like, um, yeah, there's really no incentive for me to make life harder for myself right now, unless they change the system and say, oh yeah, you, the ultimate plus parts require you to do heat level 5, I'll get back to you on that, because like I'm saying, I'm deep diving this game, because I love to torture myself with bad video games, basically bad media that I really want to be good. <laughs> I do this all the time. Ask me how many times I watched the Punisher 2004 movie. Just really hoping that I just missed something that makes it actually a really good film. And it's really mediocre. <laughs> it's just like... <sighs> it's like my brain wants to know why... What am I missing? And it's like, what you're missing is like half a story mode they didn't bother to finish. And like... A load of like bugs and shit. <laughs> uh, anyway, no more complaining. I am winning. I am winning really easily now because I have the game, the car the game likes and really, really wants you to have spent money on. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't stop me from driving like a tool, but like. <laughs> So there's a Heat 5. As you can see, it says part reward U, not U plus. And then if we go here, part reward U, and the only difference is rep and bank gain, and how much bank you need to have before you start the Heat 5 race. So it's just making your life slightly higher stakes, but then it's just like when it's just like. 20k difference in a game where like all the best cars are over a million <laughs> it doesn't really mean much 
because it's not like you can grind a high heat race so like because you have to each time build it up and do it again and again. Not worth man. So I was thinking about this the other day when I was doing a deep dive on this game's um, wiki page which let's just say its fan wiki is real small. <laughs> <laughs> and a bunch of stubs basically but uh yeah there's a high suggestion that they would just the guys behind this were basically just told fucking ship it when it wasn't ready at first because um they had a load of concept stuff ready to go that just never got made and you're like they were probably gonna get told yeah 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 you can make it later We'll make it part of like some DLC campaign afterwards, we'll fix it in post kind of mentality. And then it was like, oh wait, this game didn't do Call of Duty numbers. Oh well, never mind, cancelling the project and destroying any remaining Criterion members in the fucking company. Throwing you in the trash by, by development career. Hope you enjoy working at Dunkin' Donuts. Because it's EA and they're shitty fucking publishers and people need to stop pretending they're not. I feel bad for playing this game because I'm basically saying I support battery farms. <laughs> they're terrible people. And they're never gonna change because they make so much fucking money. But anyway, yeah, like, it was highly suggested that, like, there's a... You only get half of the story mode, is my theory, because I'm thinking they don't... They didn't think that they were going to get a Heat 2. Like, racing games don't really work well if you're going to do one after the other every two to six months, because, like... It requires you to get all the licenses again for cars and shit. And it's like a load of asset reworking and shit, it's just a huge pain. So, you know, when a game just tails off its story mode and it's barely like... halfway through the progression, you know, you can tell by progression points and shit. Okay, well, I beat this game and my car was on pro level, or like super level at best. And you're telling me I can get elite and ultimate parts, what the fuck? I didn't even need to buy a Ferrari to beat the game. Like, uh, the most expensive car I bought was a fucking Plymouth and I beat the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you're sat there like, from that progression, you either think, Wow, they really thought everyone was just gonna play this online, huh? Or you think, Oh wow, they just told the guys making the story, shut the fuck up, stop making the story, because it ends on a cliff-ass cliffhanger. And it follows a very fast and furious, like, plotline. And you're like... So, where's the payoff? And it's really annoying, because, like, the, the, the writing-focused person in my brain is like going so we hit a like crescendo and never got a payoff even though the story wasn't very good and I didn't like any of the characters I am a bit like so when when is payoff and my brain can't close this tab I'm really annoyed <laughs> now seriously man it's real fuck like um at the end of it, you get rid of the, the corrupt cop, and then the cop that was helping you, the playing double agent on the motorbike, turns out to be another corrupt cop who's even worse. And then it just ends. And you're like, what? So we never fight this person? Certain characters, certain other cop supporting characters appear and disappear from the plot. Certain supporting racing characters appear for one thing. The league is mentioned twice as if it's a big deal and then you never see them. <laughs> like, you never race with them. It feels like you're supposed to be racing with the league and chilling out and then like, oh no, the new lady Torres is gonna come and beat us up. Oh no, now she has helicopters, look. 
escalation has happened and now you're all driving supercars, isn't that crazy? Oh, now a big showdown and a load of missions and they just went, nah man, fuck that ship it. You can feel it because it's like so half cock the story where like hardly any missions happen. And you're like, is that it? And they go, yeah, that's it. And you go, no, it's not bullshit. There's supposed to be more. And they're like, okay, here's some mini game challenges. Fucking sucks. Oh yeah, and there's a whole section. Let me just... There's a whole section in this game. How I'm second, I don't know. I can't find this other guy. Where is he? Oh, I see. So, I know this because Torres rides a motorcycle, which you only ever see in cutscenes. And then there are renders of several motorcycles that were then unused for the game, which makes you think, huh, it's almost like he was supposed to interact with her on her motorcycle in game world at some point. And maybe she had cronies who were also on motorcycles and then they cut all of that for whatever reason. And it's just like, literally like they had renders for like a BMW uh, motorbike and I think it was, what was she driving, a Yamaha R1 or something like that or a Honda CBR? And there are straight up like the grey texture uh, renders on one. So I finished here second. I still get the part as you can see on my map and the giant glowing text. So we're just going to go bank this in because no cops are pursuing us for some reason because I guess my Ferrari is so fast that it beats the triggers because normally cops are waiting by the finish line to fuck you up but if you if you just go fast enough they can't actually realize you went by them because they're a bit slow to react so again game really balances towards you having supercars um yeah so the, the, you could go on the wiki and there's all these like renders of motorbikes that went unused and shit it's suggesting That's enough for one night get some rest yeah, so this car's pretty good fun to drive. I enjoyed it. Yay, look, I gained more rep, guys. That's really important. Because it caps at 50. <laughs> Arbitrary number go up. Has no value. Uh, Let's look at the part. I know, you don't have to tell me twice. Oh good, it's the crankshaft, it's not a turbo again. Ooh, something useful that's just a net gain. Of three. <laughs> it actually does make a big change. Okay, see you next time.